Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through, purple hearts, it resonates, green hearts, you're working on the yellow hearts, you rock with me, got my six. I mean, I have my back because I have yours. We are going to pull the cards. There are lessons to be learned in regards to leaving, knowing when to hold them and knowing where to fold them. That is at the bottom of the deck. Underneath there, we have a life partner. Somebody who you may think is a life partner is somebody that has taught you a lesson. Remember, no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. The memories of this person, place, thing, or situation gets complicated. And the complication causes you to learn the lesson of when to hold them and when to fold them. And so, you guys, do me a favor. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Again, if this is not for you, then it's not for you. Um, you know. Go to the next one, the temperature, hot, far away, and there's the gap, life. It says joy, rebirth, and growth. So, yeah, it taught you a lesson. This is the second time around or in something that's happening immediately. It says now and hastily. So the second time around could be a new person. It could be a life partner because that's what we had at the bottom of that deck. But it's getting hot in here, huh? Hot, far away, and a gap. You had to distance yourself from a person learn the lessons of what love um and the memories can do and how complicated they can be and now here it is now that you've learned that lesson the the, the journey that you're on is yeah finding your authentic voice uh bottom of the deck is a new life yeah so life comes out twice so um the second time around second time around y'all remember that yeah telepathy it says you are not you and another are connected in spirit in the spirit realm and can transmute thoughts and emotions so you are going to be in a situation and your voice is going to be heard this time it says remove any blocks within your throat chakra it says um so you can express yourself open and honestly so the second time around um, or maybe the second chance that you're getting in regards to love is going to be you authentically living your life and loving who and having a person who loves who you are. And that is even though the memories of the past are there, you are not going to let that stop you. You are going to speak your mind. Yeah, uh, the nothingness. And also, yeah, participate. This is good thing. This is harmony. This is harmony. This is the five of... Um, what is it? The five of, um, um, I'm trying to think, um, the five of cups energy, like um, understanding that, you know, this, this energy of harmony is not going to be when it comes to not having any emotion or any feel, any feelings behind something, because this could be um, a certain situation of loss, you know, of feeling like I lost this situation. Is this ever going to happen for me again? Bottom of the deck is fighting. So yeah, you're fighting for a new thing, but you're not going to be worried about if, you know, the comparisons anymore. You're going to use your voice and go from there and trust your intuition, your telepathy, it says, but you're going to also remove the blockages of the throat chakra. So whatever comes to you, whatever you leave in the past, you're going to leave let it stay there you're going to learn your lessons no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher and the full moon comes and it says illuminated subconscious one month next uh next full moon and it says emotional awareness climax moving on a cycle of completion and so you had to complete this cycle in order for you to have a charting course look two of wands energy the opportunity to make a decision of moving forward and also that comes with you it says season the day knight of swords energy you only live once excuse me that's my drake energy uh be tough be ambitious know what you want go after it in a single-minded determination season the moment coming and going talkative it says maverick impulsive impatient uh focused daring witting and blunt and that all comes with you overcoming sorrow the three of swords in the reverse it's not in the upright anymore you're going to get out of this stage of mental anguish and be able to live this life a new life of uh not fighting anymore you know so you have to be able to let go of the past and yeah release limiting beliefs exactly eight of swords in the reverse you have to be able to release the limited re beliefs in order for you to find your full your life partner and so underneath the bottom of the deck which is right here remember leaving life new life fighting in nine of swords sorry that was my bracelets being in mental ang anguish uh, lets you know that 
you know, this new go around, it's going to be a lot of participation. It's not going to be a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. It's not going to be a lot of grief and disappointment. You are going to find your voice and you're going to, you're going to learn to express yourself and know to chart your course and seize the moment. And also, uh, that's a lesson of the past. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation that you were in in the past was here to teach you a lesson. And so I'm going to, I'm trying to think, oh, I'll pull from the messages of the heart just to see what comes out. This could be your past energies or this could be your energy or your past partner's energy. Um, but at some point, the lesson that you had to learn came from the past. And so it came from the past love. And so sometimes it's easier to look at things from a different light. Yeah, the innocence, seeing the innocence and what you, yeah, game over. See, you're leaving a situation. It says, they fear you, your wrath. They they know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. And so there you have it there. That's the reason why you're leaving. You're walking away. The innocence, your innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but feel they must push you away to protect you from themselves and separation. Yeah, so you walked away from a situation where it was really complicated, but the separation, it says they're focusing on their own personal journey and choosing not to focus on love because there is nothing to give. So they have nothing to give you. So the only thing you can do is understand that your life partner is coming this second time or second time around. And the telepathy card says you and another are connected in the spirit realm in the 5D right now. Um, it says, and can transmute thoughts and emotions. So the comparisons will not be there. Um, the Eight of Swords energy uh, in the reverse, it's like you are strong now. You're strong. You you know, you you had to um, get gain your power back. And that is where the difference is. So I think I'm going to go ahead and sit this up here. And we're going to look at the bottom of the deck now. Because, again, your innocence played a, a, a good role Um and them taking advantage of who you are. And so you're going to overcome that in order for you to move forward. Again, the bottom of the deck, let's do it like this. So the bottom of the deck is the separation. So separating from this person, place, thing, or situation. Hold on, I'm going to pull these cards out for the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the releasing of the limited beliefs, the comparisons, all of the things, and nothingness. You had no other choice but to let go of what no longer serves you and that is to trust into your intuition and use your authentic voice and so um the second time around you know it's not just going to be lust it's going to be you know about you know things happening faster than normal but don't scare yourself and don't compare yourself to the past you have to be able to move forward and see the beauty in yourself. And that is when you will find, learn the lessons of the past and find your life partner, if that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and pull from Tarot to see what comes out um, from here. Let's see. That's very loud. These are metal cards or whatever they call it. So they're very loud. But yeah, the life partner, my son is going to come in here in a second and bring me my sandwich. So. Give me a second. The life partner. Look at all the cards. Yeah. Unsure about this. The um, the conflict that you have had in the past. And two cards uh, came out. Let me. Yep. Yeah, look at that. The fool taking a leap in the queen of cups in the reverse. Hold on a second. Okay. So, yeah. What came out is the five of wands uh, needing clarification because the five of wands is basically conflict. But. There is no conflict. There, There is an unsure knowledge of what this new life partner is to bring. And the Queen of Cups in the reverse lets you know that you have some type of coldness when it comes to anything that's coming uh, from uh, anything new that's coming. But you have to take a leap. And that's why the universe says immediately now, you know, because the comparison of the past is not going to be the same. So you have to let go and know with the Page of Wands energy, Page of Wands is you actually moving forward and looking towards the future and to be able to see like and be excited about it, no matter what you what you kind of believe in from the past, what it what it can be, you know, the shoulda, woulda, coulda. But then you keep going back to the past and not being able to move forward. So it's a telepathy card. Okay, these cards just want to fly out. But the telepathy card is here again. You or another are connected to a spirit um, in spirit. Yeah, see, 
when you don't trust your intuition, the five, uh, excuse me, the six of wands energy comes in the reverse and the six of wands in the upright would normally be you trusting and knowing and having vict victory. But at some point, it's like uh, you don't recognize, you know, the comparisons of the past. You're not going to recognize the the success of the future if you keep dwelling on the past. So to clarify the six of wands in the reverse, the universe is telling you that there's no comparison. You have to release the limiting beliefs, which is the eight of swords in the reverse. Yeah. And make a decision to move forward. The moving forward is going to bring you that new life partner. But to see the innocence of who you are who you've become is like scary for you because you know they played on your innocence they played on your innocence and we're going to clarify uh comparisons they played on your innocence and they made they compared you to what what they believed yeah and it made you feel unsuccessful uh or have a lack of courage uh ace of, ace of pentacles in the reverse so you know they played on your innocence and you know you feel like you know you have a lack of um you don't have what it takes to have that because the way they compared you to others, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is what we're going to clarify. Yeah, you have to end that. Look at all the cards that turned over. You're going to have your rewards, Nine of Wands, Energy, nine years it took for you to get to this point to where you're going to be able to be celebrated and also have the love that you want. Two of Cups Energy, this is the people that come around you. Two of Cups Energies are love, new opportunities, new relationships, and you know just you having a mutual attraction to somebody, a partner, but that's because you've been in limbo for so long nine years there's finally a completion here queen of pentacles you um you know you are the mother of the zodiac the cancer energy but the queen of pentacles like jds tarot used to say i haven't heard him say it in a while but jds uh, tarot used to say that the queen of pentacles can be toxic to themselves um by nurturing nurturing and over nurturing and keep giving second chances to people who don't deserve it and so you have to walk away six of swords energy and end the things from the people that no longer serve you who makes and and release the limiting beliefs of you not being good enough or you uh having to keep going around and around and deal and not trust with your intuition because you're so used to dealing with certain situations so again we're going to clarify the eight of swords and then we'll do you know the eight of swords the limiting re beliefs you're afraid to le release the limiting beliefs which is the nine of swords kind of un unsure you're afraid to do that because this energy has caused you so much anxiety you don't know what the future holds and again yesterday is history tomorrow's a mystery the only thing that's real is the present moment that's the page of wands energy the present moment is where you need to be and also know that your innocence is going to cause somebody to love you for who you are you just have to be able to speak and express yourself and speak your mind and practice your throat chakras and it's not about your heart chakras do the work for yourself meaning learn to release the limiting beliefs and knight of pentacles energy and stop um you know, and start setting boundaries. I'm not saying stop. Start setting boundaries. And those boundaries come with you saying exactly what you want and being tough, being ambitious, knowing what you want and going after it in a single-minded determination. So at the bottom of this deck, this is where we are here. At the bottom of the, the decks, the other decks of everything that's up here, we have new perspective. We have just, which is procedures and values. You have to look at have a new perspective on your old values that you had and have new values and empower yourself. Empowerment is here and courage is here. The courage card, um, and I'm bending down. The courage card is, a ro what is it, the rose that grew, grew through the concrete? This reminds me of the, the poem Tupac had said, but it's a flower growing through the concrete throughout all adversity. If you have the courage, you'll be able to go through anything. And the ace of wands being in the um, reverse is just letting you know that it's time for you to, you know, uh, get out of that energy of you not being enough, you know, of having a lack of um, passion and being bored and not, you know, and, and get into the energy of being able to create and have the courage to go after the things that you want. So that's how I see that. You guys do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. My niece, my great nieces are here. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. Do me a favor. Um, let's go ahead and release this old energy. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, 
negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.